All right, welcome to the instructional video on cutting and shaping a wing. This is the part one video. So in part one, we're going to take our template that we've cut and we're going to lay it on top of our styrofoam and trace it out. Before we do that, I just want you to know that the styrofoam has actually two sides. One side that looks like it has sort of a coating and the other side is a little bit rough. Um, it's very likely that uh, eventually we'll stop using this styrofoam and we'll go to a different one. Uh, and in which case it wouldn't matter what side you're really drawing this on, but we'd like to draw this on the rougher side, not the smooth side that looks like it has a coating on it. We want to leave that side alone. So we're going to draw it on the rough side and we'll lay our wing down on that. And I'm actually using a damaged piece here. So I don't want you to use a damaged piece. I'm just using it because I want to give all the good pieces to you guys. So now when you have it on there, you just sort of set up where you think that your center lines are going to be. But the reality is that what we want is we want an actual 90 degree angle. And we're going to use our tri-square here and set it up so that it's perfectly square up against our edge. And then we're going to draw our line with the tri-square. So that line is going to match up with our fold in the paper. We're going to make sure it's perfect so that everything is squared up. And now we can begin to trace our design. And as you're tracing it, try not to make, sh try to make sure that the template itself doesn't shift. If it shifts, you know, your, your plane might be off and any small little problem could mean the difference between flying your plane far and not flying it far enough. All right, so now that I've got this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this center line. I'm just going to draw it right down on the side there. And once I get that on the side, you can see that line lines up with my center line. I'm going to go onto the other side and take my tri-square now, draw that line across the side that's really good. On the side that we're not tracing on. I always want that there. We're never going to forget that we need that. Um, so now I have my lines on both sides. I have my tracing on the other. And I'm going to be using a styrofoam cutter to cut the shape of the wing. Also fairly easy to do. If you've preheated your styrofoam cutter as I have, you just cut along the edge. Whatever you do, do not go further than your line. So you can go outside the line, but do not try to cut inside your line. And um, I always tell kids to put the styrofoam cutter on high for this stuff. And then you'll just cut us out. It's pretty easy to do this. Now everybody in this class, if you're in my class, should have done this already with your dragsters. You know, cut out the line. And I did go below my line there a little bit. And so you're just going to be cutting out your shapes. And it's pretty easy to do that. So at this point, if you think you've got this down, you can go ahead and cut out your shape. Whatever you do, don't try to force this. As you force it, the wire itself starts to kind of wobble a little bit. And we don't want that to happen. We want to keep it nice and steady. Um, if it gets in a little bit of too much of an angle, it'll change the, the nice edge of your plane. You don't want any of that. So uh, try not to force it. Just let it you know, melt along your wing. If you try to force it and go too fast, it's definitely going to bend. It's definitely going to break. Um, and that could cause problems for your entire glider. I'll just finish this line. And then we can end the video. And at this point, I think that you guys get the point of what you're supposed to do. And you can just go ahead and start shaping out your wings. Good luck.